Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and it is Sunday, March 16th, and I'm just checking in. For those of you who are new to the channel, checking in is something that I do every now and then when I don't have a video to release, just to say hey, what's up, and to tell you what's going on with me. What's going on with me right now is that I've been sick this week, you can probably hear it in my sinuses right now, and so I don't really have a video. You guys notice I'm kind of on a once a week schedule right now, that's what's working for me at this moment is about once a week, and so that's what I'm going to try to stick to for the next little while as I start to sort of develop a better routine about when and how I can make my videos. It's a dreary, rainy Sunday here in my part of the world, and I've just been hanging out and playing some God Hand. That's the game that you're seeing on your screen right now. This is Clover Studios, sort of diamond in the rough, hidden gem from the PlayStation 2 era. Clover, you might remember, is responsible for Okami, as well as the Beautiful Joe games. Uh, Clover, of course, also became Platinum. Of course, we all know Platinum for games like Bayonetta, Vanquish, uh, Wonderful 101, etc., and this game is, uh, well, it's, it's pretty interesting, I'll give you that. I never played it on PS2. I didn't really own a PS2 until very close to the end of its life cycle, but it is an interesting game that, that I do hear a lot about as an overlooked gem, and so I'm uh, kind of privileged to get to play it right now, play through it, uh, get a little bit of an idea of how the game uh, holds up by today's standards, and just really have a lot of fun playing a game that's just dumb in all the right ways. Now, some of you might be asking yourself, uh, Big Dave, why are you playing an almost eight-year-old Capcom beat-em-up from the PlayStation 2 era just out of the blue like that? Well, it's not out of the blue, and it actually rolls into something that I wanted to talk about. Some of you might recognize the name NitroBeard.com, and that's because I've mentioned him before, sure, and Brian Belita from NitroBeard did participate in the most recent free-for-all. Uh, they appeared on my list of, you know, my favorite podcasts uh, long ago when I wrote that article on my website. And so, recently, I was given the opportunity to join NitroBeard, and I happily accepted it. I've been talking with Brian for a while about the opportunity to do some work with them, and uh, this came up, and it, it really seemed like a good fit. Uh, I am going to be appearing regularly, I hope, on their podcast. You know, they have a whole dynamic there, and I don't want to—I don't want to force myself into it. Uh, but I am happy to, to join the podcast whenever I can, and uh, it, it's been a great experience so far. I have been on one podcast that was officially released, and one podcast that will forever be lost to the uh, gremlins of recording things over Skype. But it's been a great blast so far. NitroBeard.com, head over there, check out the free-to-play podcast. I was on episode 69, which, uh, as of this recording, is the most recent episode where we discussed binary domain. And the reason we discussed binary domain is because over on NitroBeard, they do this thing called the Illiterates Book Club. Now, this is a pretty popular concept uh, over the last couple of years of a game club, so to speak. You have a game that you play, and then you all talk about it, just like a book club. A book, you read it, you gab about it. Well, they do that with this, uh, with video games, and a lot of other sites do that too, and uh, it's a really fun concept. So they did that for Binary Domain, and I was on the episode where we spoke about it, and it was a lot of fun. Now they're doing God Hand, so I'm playing God Hand in preparation for potentially appearing on the next episode of Free to Play to discuss this uh, Clover Games uh, gem. So that's the reason that I'm playing this obscure PlayStation 2 game. It's not out of nowhere. It's because of my new relationship with NitroBeard.com. So I would uh, encourage you guys to go over there. They are featuring my recent videos on their main page. This isn't the sort of video I think that they would feature over there because this is kind of just for my peoples. But uh, they are going to feature my regular videos, my um, first impressions, my uh, work in progress videos, etc. over there on NitroBeard. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Nothing's going to change here in the short term, though I could see a future where my contributions uh, are solely to NitroBeard. That's not to say that anything is going to happen here in the short term, but certainly uh, I could see myself going that way because I do like that idea of meshing with a larger group and being one of uh, uh, several folks and bringing a unique talent because they don't really have uh, a high amount of video content being distributed from their site, and I can bring that to them. And I think that this uh, offers a really unique relationship, and I'm looking forward to working with the guys. So keep your eyes on NitroBeard.com and the free-to-play podcast where I may appear somewhat regularly. 
So apart from my adventures in podcasting and playing a bit of God Hand, I've also been playing quite a lot of Titanfall. Uh, yes, I, Big Dave, who is cheap, did purchase a full price game. I buy a few a year, maybe two or three, uh, though I did get a discount on this, 10 bucks off with a coupon, so I felt a little warm and fuzzy doing that at least. But I have to report that Titanfall is pretty much everything I would expect. It's a great game made by people who make these sorts of games. Uh, yes, there is that good old uh, leveling and accomplishment and achievement and uh, reinforcement treadmill that you get on there with the game, leveling up your character, unlocking new skills, new abilities, new unlocks, new configurations, etc. as you go. But uh, it's a lot of fun. The Titans really do make a huge difference. Otherwise, it's just a shooty man kind of game. But I really do think it is... Uh, crafted by people who really know what they're doing with the genre. I mean, there's a reason that these games uh, come out and make a lot of money. It's because they're not bad games. They're well-crafted games. In many ways, they're a tired formula, but they are really well-done games. And Titanfall is no exception. I expected uh, nothing less from Respawn, given their pedigree and where their team came from. Uh, and it has uh, impressed me so far. So uh, an unfortunate reason to fire up Origin, but uh, I've been muddling through, playing a lot with Brian from Nitro Beard. If you would like to try to find me over there, I think you can look me up by email address. It is BigDavisCheap at gmail.com. So look me up on Origin. Also run under the name over there, Cheap Dave, because I believe my chosen username would be a bit too long. So look me up on Origin. We can play a little Titanfall. I wanted to keep this around about five minutes and I have not succeeded, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy. <laughs>